G'day Bomber fans, Deja Vu 2023 looks to be repeating itself a bit here, It's a, it was a horrible loss against the Crows, a deflating loss, one of the most unprofessional performances we've had since GWS last year, there's no excuses for this one, the season is now well and truly on the line, there's a few weeks to go, we were talking about top 4 not long ago, and uh, now we're looking like a good chance to miss finals altogether. Uh, got to talk about this game, unfortunately, so let's get into it. The first term, we got off to a fast start. Common theme, we've kicked uh, the first goal in 13 of our games this year. Uh, our tall wingmen were floating forward to hit the scoreboard. Uh, the Crows' pressure was non-existent. Early days, it was looking like it could be a belting in our favour, but as we know, we don't like to put teams away. The Crows lifted and only trailed the first quarter by five points. The second term was a genuine mess. That was one of the worst quarters of footy since GWS last year. It was embarrassing to watch. The Crows piled on nine goals, 55 points. It doesn't matter how good you are in attack. Conceding 55 points in a quarter is just a joke. They were all over us. Got out to a 36 point lead at one point. Uh, we managed to find a couple late though. The third was better. We fought back. Uh, we controlled the game. We kicked eight goals to two. It was a bit of a, a reverse of that second term. The Crows fell asleep as we did in the, in the quarter before. It wasn't a good night for defensive coaches, but it made uh, for a great game for uh, footy neutrals. The final term slowed down. It was a better game structurally. We had the game won a few times. You felt like we were going to win. I was confident as the minutes wound down. We're usually a great uh, close game team. We were much more experienced than Adelaide, but at the end we were just uh, not mature enough to see out the win. We went into game saving mode a bit too early maybe, protected the lead. It felt like the Crows stole that one, but it's a bit of karma after that Draper flop on the ball in Adelaide. The footy gods had their back. So let's talk about this game, uh, why we lost, what it means for our season. I'll start off by saying the Crows were great. Oh, I did say that they were a changed team in the preview. They have all these players back. They have clear character now. They're going to beat some good teams to round out the year. They can't really play finals, but they can do some damage, and they showed that here. They were efficient. They were ruthlessly efficient. The expected score stat is never that accurate. It doesn't always measure pressure well, but their expected scores from their chances was 84. They ended with a score of 115, whereas ours was uh, expected score was 104. So we actually did all right in front of the sticks, but the Crows were just next level and it's deflating when a team is non-stop scoring goals on you and that's what they did they made the most of their chances even late in the game we fluffed a few chances to score they nailed just about everything that they could have they were good we weren't dumbing it down a bit there but but it's true that they were hotter than us their pressure was too much to handle at times they were more efficient as i said they stood up when it mattered most it was it was what we were saying about ourselves earlier in the year they right now are the better team and the better team won simple as that unfortunately and that's the annoying thing it wasn't as if we were horrible i don't think we were horrible we we were just not at their level, and that's that's the more worrying uh, thing than having a down day. I think this game reflects our form well. We didn't dip. We just are not at the level of Adelaide right now, which is not ideal. Defensively, we were a mess. Both teams were, to be honest, but 17 goals against is never good. Even if you win, you can't be thrilled about conceding 17 goals. Our shape was lost so easily, especially in that second. We just could not contain them at times. It wasn't like one star forward was tearing it apart. It was just... Crows players popping up with space because we either weren't tracking back well enough or there was a lack of communication to cover the smalls who found themselves loose. Ben Keith kicked five goals. That shouldn't be happening. I understand a target like Fogarty getting a little bag, but Ben Keith kicking five goals is proof that we are just not aware enough. We have been giving up some really cheap and easy goals in the last few weeks. It's 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 disappointing. Scott will be livid. I don't think we are at the level of drop-off that we were last year. That was a real mess, but there are signs that if we don't fix whatever's going on with us right now, there could be. Uh, we improved so much in our back line to start the year. Now teams look forward to playing us. They get some goal-kicking practice. It's a positive that we kick triple figures, sure, but I hate conceding big scores. That shows that you are not a team ready to play finals. There was nothing finals-like about this game of footy. It was fun to watch, but our defence just isn't solid enough to contain a moving footy, and I think for the first time all year, we just could not handle pressure back there either. We're usually so good at exiting and getting effective kicks from D50, but Adelaide stopped that. They, they scored pretty much exclusively from the front half. They had it locked in there at times. I thought they came with a plan to really shut down our defence and it worked. I think as bad as that second quarter was, as damaging as it was to the game and our chances of making it comfortable, we still had the match won late. We led by uh, three goals at one stage pretty late in that last quarter. Gresham kicked a, a, what at the time felt like a sealer. We had that game in our hands and let it slip. And it's not like Adelaide were just all out attack and giving us no chances to ice it either. I do think we went into game saving mode a bit late though, but we still got chances after. Langford missed a set shot out on the full with less than 10 minutes left. Caddy could have sealed the game running into an open goal but kicked it out on the full. Even Nick Martin in the dying seconds, he had that snap that fell short or that Sam Draper set shot. We had moments to score but couldn't. I'm sure that there are 
are others that I'm missing as well. You can't really blame the second quarter for the loss. It's definitely a worry. It's it's more than a worry, to be honest. It was horrid footy, but but we found our way back in the game and should have won. We, we, we should have won. We just couldn't close it out, and I think that kind of speaks to us as a team. We are so good at our best, but drop off so far too often in patches. We haven't really had a four-quarter performance all year. It's why we can't put teams away. It's why we often get overrun. We just fall asleep and lose momentum too easily. It's how the Crows got back in the game in the first quarter. It's how they killed us in the second and it's how they won in the fourth. Adelaide did really well to stop our kick mark uh, play style that usually works so well under the roof. I think that's why it was such a high scoring game. Uh, the way the game was being played always suited the Crows. They were never going to win if they allowed us to get a high number of uncontested possessions. That's how we like to play. The Crows held us to our lowest amount of uncontested possessions under the roof this year. I think uh, I think that just as much as the Crows were great at stopping that play and making the game a more frantic one at times, I think it was our lack of adaptability yet again that cost us, and this has been a, a bit of a theme. We struggled to maintain our desired tempo. There were times where the game just needed to slow down, but we continued to match their vibe and, and play ping pong rather than footy. That's been the case in recent losses. Us either struggling to be effective when the game isn't played on our terms or not being able to get control of the game. In all of our wins, we have had... Uh, control of the game for extended periods and, and that never really felt like the case here. Only in that third and early in that first did I feel like we ha we had the game being played the way it suited us. It's easy for us fans to say the game was uh, lost at selection and highlight the changes we, we should have made in hindsight but I really don't understand some of the moves we made. I didn't think uh, the lack of right was an issue to be honest uh, but I do think Dropping him was strange considering he kicked more goals than all but one Essendon player post to buy him. Under the roof as well with a pretty leaky Adelaide defence. I'm not defending his form because I don't think he's been great at all. But I thought that was harsh. And I don't mind harsh calls. I wouldn't mind this call if it meant that guys like Perkins were also in the firing line. I love Archie but he needs a spell in the twos. Not, not even just right. Nick Hind. I don't know if I'm crazy or not but... Does Jai Menzi or Archie Perkins really offer more than Nick Hind right now? I get that he's chaotic, uh, but his effort as the sub has never been anything but impactful when the game is hot. Todd Goldstein, what is the point of playing a pure stoppage-based ruck if he's not in any ruck contests? Draper was in 63, Goldstein was in 38. What is the point of playing Goldstein? It makes no sense to me. He doesn't impact around the ground. Five disposals, 19 hitouts. I'm not criticizing Goldie because I think he's a good ruckman. This isn't his fault. He's having to play out of his role. I just don't understand why we're even choosing to play him if Draper is in the majority of contests anyway. It's baffling to me. It's just an extra tall playing for no reason. You could play right uh, and as a second ruck uh, and just have Goldstein off the ground because at least Wright can play up forward and kick a goal. And Goldstein just adds clutter up forward. I was really worried after the team selection. I considered doing a lineup video because I had concerns and I just, it just wasn't me. It was everyone saying this. It's frustrating for an entire fan base to see a clear issue with a lineup and for those worries to be justified. I thought this game was genuinely lost at selection, if I'm being honest. We had too many passengers. Menzi, Guelphie, Goldie, even Jake Stringer. If Wright is facing the axe, surely Stringer has to worry as well because he just hasn't had an impact since the West Coast game. We have to be ruthless we have, uh, with some tough calls. Um, but but fair, and I don't think it's fair to keep playing young guys who are clearly out of form uh, because that's there's a few of them right now on our team. Look, all in all, it's just a bit of a disaster. The season isn't over. We, we hopefully get a response, but I'm getting pretty tired of these uh, late season fade outs. It's hard to trust this team now. It's, it's always been hard to trust this team, to be fair. Uh, they build you up and knock you down pretty easy. I'm trying to stay positive and see what we follow up this game with, but it's hard. The lid was starting to come off a few weeks ago. Now it's well and truly super glued on. This was a... Really worrying performance. Uh, these are the games you just have to win, and these are the games we were winning earlier in the year. We've dropped in form a lot in these last few weeks where we're easy to play against right now, which I hate. I hate being a fan of a club that others don't fear. Uh, we got a game next week against St Kilda that is just a, a non-negotiable. That has to be a win. If we lose that, season over, season done, but... Right now, we're still in it around the 8. I'm filming this before some other games have been finished, so I don't know. But it's hard to think about finals right now when we can't beat bottom 6 teams. I get the feeling there are going to be some angry comments, and rightfully so. It's a really frustrating weekend for me, so let's just get into the votes. Alright, votes, um, I don't even know. It's tough to give out votes after a, a loss like this, uh, to be honest. So they might be a bit all over the place. I'm not really thinking about individuals. Uh, on a night like this. Uh, so one vote tonight, uh, Sam Durham. Uh, he was immense early, best on ground early. Fell away a bit as the game went along though. Still ended with 27 to 8 clearances. Two votes to Mason Redmond. I thought on a night like that where the ball is ping-ponging back and forth, it was really important to have drive out of the back half and he gave us that. 24 touches, a goal, 8 score involvements. Also led the ground for metres gained. Uh, Kyle Langford 3. I feel like he wasted some big chances. Could have won the game, but his 
effort was pretty nuts. He kicked two goals, one from his 20-odd touches. He had nine score involvements, but his intercepting work late. I think if we won that game, we'd be talking about that move to defense. You can see why he was moved to the back line early last year. He was great outside the arc, reading the ball so well. I thought he was really good. Um, you might disagree. Who cares about votes after that game, though? Hopefully, you guys still do so I can tally them up. I leave them. Oh, role player. Uh, Sam Draper injected life into the game in the ruck. I thought he had a, had an impact. Uh, but yeah, uh, leave your votes down below with your role player as well. That is that. Review done. Season not done yet? Question mark. Uh, still five games left. We probably need three wins from those five games to make finals. Uh, quite a few winnable games. Finals is still on the cards, but I'm just... I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm just thinking about our side playing good footy. That is all I want to see. I don't want to make finals and get smashed. I want to make the eight to win games. We got St. Kilda next. Uh, cheers for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and go Bombers.